Jason Stellan. I'm Principal Group Program Manager at Big Compute for Microsoft Azure. Welcome to SC17 and thanks for coming to the Microsoft booth. Microsoft acquiring Cycle will actually help customers considerably on multiple fronts. We have a considerable functionality around running traditional HPC workloads on Linux and templating and hybrid workflow mechanisms that make it very easy to take advantage of compute wherever your applications are. So we see a lot of in interesting events happening in hybrid cloud over the next two to three years. The first is enablement. So Cycle for years has made it easy to get internal workloads up and running on external cloud. And what we're doing now is integrating that very tightly into the Azure experience. So you can take advantage of InfiniBand, FPGAs, GPUs, high throughput workloads, and the new low priority offerings that allow you cheap ephemeral compute options very simply and very easily. We came to supercomputing first in 2007 and started talking about cloud HPC and people thought we had three heads. And there's been several stages of evolution in the perception of cloud HPC since that time. So it first started with life sciences. So in 2007 through 2010, there was a lot of experimentation by life sciences, biotech companies, uh, public sector folks, and big pharma. Um, in 2011 through 2014, we started to see some of the initial workloads get operationalized. So you had Big Pharma being able to run these workloads on a regular basis at scale. Since then, in 2015 through current day, we've seen a real mind shift change. Customers are now looking at cloud as a viable option for both extra capacity that augments their internal uh, cluster, and then secondarily as an all-in option, if the scale is right and it makes sense, for certain workloads, it's much better to just run all in cloud right now. And that momentum, we think, is going to continue over the next several years. We have the opportunity to finally make it so the world's smartest people don't wait for compute. They can ask questions at whatever scale matters and be able to actually work faster because they get results back at the speed they're thinking. So for those reasons alone, augmenting your internal environment with external compute and helping us fight cancer better, create the first deaths-free cars by designing safe vehicles, and enabling us to do better risk management for people's retirements that they've spent their years earning. That's why we get up in the morning to do Cloud HPC. Hi everybody, Fred Cahoot from Cray. Welcome to Supercomputing 17. The partnership between Microsoft Azure and Cray really ushers in a new era of discovery and insight. So whether you're training AI deep learning models, you're developing precision medicine solutions through genome sequencing, or you're doing trillion cell simulations to create high fidelity reservoir models, you can now access a Cray in the cloud with Microsoft Azure. So you get all of the flexibility of Microsoft Azure services with the performance and scale of Cray and without the constraints of your data center. My name is Brett Tanzer. I'm the product owner for the Azure Big Compute business. Customers consistently are telling us that moving Big Compute to the cloud makes it possible for them to take advantage of the awesome power that the cloud brings and applies it to some of life's most challenging problems. So we are incredibly motivated to help customers solve those problems more quickly and improve what we deliver to all of humanity. When we talk about one cloud for every workload, what we're really referring to is the fact that customers are in various states of transition, moving their workloads to the cloud. And we've done everything from bring the most diverse set of VM types to make it possible for you to move your workloads without having to change them, to investments in companies like Cycle Computing that make it possible for you to get started, to deals with Cray that make it possible for you to move workloads that were previously unthinkable in the public cloud to the cloud starting today. Customers really want to share some of the processing that used to happen within the Cray with the other cloud capabilities, and they want to augment it with a set of services that Azure puts around the click. So the partnership with Microsoft and Cray makes it possible for customers to get started sooner, right-size their investment, and extend those workloads from purely the Cray system into the native cloud. Thanks for stopping by the Microsoft booth today. We'll see you at SE18 in Dallas. Thank <laughs> you.